Dark Roast and Hazelnut Creamer. That's my deal. Good morning, everybody. Jen Crevasi, Jekyll Bates, and it is Thursday. It's Thursday. It's really early. Um, shoot. Yeah, 6 o'clock in the morning. That's normally when you get me for these. This is your workshop update, and let's get into it because we got a whole bunch going on on this desk again, y'all. I'm going to start out with some jerk baits. Um, this is all a 22 piece order, I want to say. There's a couple pieces that you guys have seen over there. Um, but we're going to concentrate on what's in front of us. And uh, ooh, if I don't knock the camera too much, sorry about that, y'all. Let's bring all of our lights onto the finishing desk for you. So we're going to start out with this little Everglades. Let's get it up into the light. Everglades, because it's sort of kind of got a cross between the Okeechobee colors and then it's got the, uh, I like to call them New Orleans colors, reversed. Usually you see that purple on top and that chartreuse on the bottom, but for this particular one, we've reversed that. Um, we've got some cool eyes in there. Just a, a fun bait, but this is a pressing that comes from Schultz, and uh, a lot of you guys look for this style bait because it's a very popular style bait, but you really have to be careful where you pick these things up because um, if you just get them off Amazon or, or whatever, it's probably going to be a sinking. Even if it's got this holographic foil on it, it's going to be a sinking, and it's not going to do what most of you are going to want it to do, which is either float or suspend. So the only place where I've found really decent pressings of this particular bait is over at Schultz Tackle. He's got suspending, he's got the plus ones, he's got floating, and he's got the, the slow sinkers. Um, this one happens to be a suspending. So go check out Eason over at Schultz Ch Tackle. That's my little plug for him this morning. I'm not paid to say that, but just uh, if you guys are looking for decent blanks of this particular type of bait, uh, that's where you're going to get It's the only place that I found them, unless you get the real thing, which I always recommend. Uh, but I know the real thing costs, what, $24? So if you guys are bait makers and you're doing... I pr and, I, and I've told you this before, I prefer to... Uh, to do real brand names just because you you get what you pay for you know what you're getting and it's usually patented and if it's not the patent has um gone then you're going to get something completely different but um yeah go check out shell's tackle he's got a bunch of cool stuff over there folks um just i, I like spreading the love around because i do i i love dinger and i, I love cedar run I, I get a bunch of stuff from them here in the states but there's some other stuff that you can't find anywhere else that you can get over at shell's so this is one of those husky type pressings it's got the flash in the middle this is in my pro blue it's a little bit darker than the pro blue you find you're normally you're going to find a pro blue that looks a little bit closer to the light blue up in that one but i like to darken it up just a little bit just to give the the tip and the and the tail something for those fish to key in on and it just fades up into a a little bit of a transparent and then what kind of eyes do we have on here, folks? We have purple eyes on this one. So there you go. In lipless, we have uh, this northern gill. Those bright, bright red eyes. Northern's a little bit paler. Um, I deal with more yellows and greens on this particular bait than just about any other of the of the line on lipless for the for the gills and sunfish that I do. But this is a, a very effective spring bait, but four season bait. You can throw a lipless pretty much year round if you have open water and be pretty successful. This is the kiwi. You guys have seen this before, but also a fun bait. It's got that dark on dark. I, I actually used a little bit of a traditional black on this. I've been using a lot of detail magenta black lately, the Wicked Detail Black Magenta, uh, and I love it. But for some things, you still need a little bit of black. This is that Bull Shoals seed, and they pretty much look like this. If you've seen some of the pictures that I've shown over the years, you know that they are bright, bright, bright colored. And, and the clearer water you get, the better colors you're going to have. I know you guys are looking at this. Thank you for the orders already. This is going to be a small batch. This is the 2019 commemorative edition of my Patriot. I do a Patriot every single year. Um, and then I put out a special July 4th edition that you guys can snatch up. 
But again, this is a limited edition. This is the three star. So maybe maybe we'll do a four star general this uh, this Fourth of July. We'll see. But then uh, if you're looking at like, oh, those are really cool sparkly white eyes. These are from Jets and Lure Eyes. So he is back in the saddle again. You can go find him at jetsandlures.com. Some of the most unique eyes in the business you're going to get from him. So give John a look. And uh, it's going to take, it's not going to be like getting something off of Amazon Prime where you're going to be, it's going to be at your house in two days because he handcrafts every single set of eyes that he makes. So be patient with him, but they're quality, quality eyes. So here's your Patriot for 2019. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And uh, you guys can get that by either messaging me here directly through uh, leave me a comment or you can find me on Facebook. You can find Jekyll Bait Company, leave me a message there. I work on a multitude of platforms, so I'm easy to find. My links are listed in the description below. Uh, if you wanna get your hands on these, these are only gonna be available through April 30th and then it goes away and then I'll come out with a 4th of July it'll you'll probably see it mid-June that'll run through the 4th of July so love it love 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 it this is that Ozark Autumn Gill and this is another pattern that keeps evolving it started out pretty simple and then over the years I've kind of combined a couple of things to really turn it into something that I love to throw so it's got that orange on the on the face and almost like a craw color, but it absolutely is. It's like a green sunfish. You don't see the line. So I've made this my own, like I usually do with most baits that you see, you know, Jekyll baits. Proven pattern. It's not going to be on the website unless it's been proven in the water. So just to let you guys know, let's got to get close here for a second. Yeah, we'll pick this guy up. This is just something out of the box, more of an artistic approach to things. There we go. Had to reset the camera because it was locked on a specific focus point, which wasn't working for this presentation. But this is a Sakana, and Sakana is a Japanese word for fish, and that is the traditional symbol in the Japanese caricature, or character. And just something completely different. I like doing out of the box stuff. So very cool pattern. I like the blend. It goes from that mustard yellow on its chest into some green. Just something new and exciting and different that's fun to throw and is gonna catch you some fish. So that is the Sakana. I'm gonna flip here and go off glove hand just for a second. This is Easter morning. This is also a pattern that's evolved over the years. This pattern has been out for, gosh, three, four years now. Um, but I have partnered with uh, cool sets of eyes on these. I found some, uh, some mother of pearl eyes. And this is, again, special editions for the Easter time of the year. And there you go. Very cool marbled pattern. But Easter Sunday. Looks like an Easter egg. Will it catch you fish? You bet it will. Wake bait. This is that Champagne IU. Very subtle. Comes with a feathered treble on the end of it. Red eyes. And we're just about into wake bait season. Texas, Florida. Um, you're going to be hitting top water here any time now. So I would expect for those sales to start coming in. It's seasonal, it's patternal. Um, can always tell where folks live by what they're getting off the website, which is really cool. And if you're interested in any of these patterns, pretty much everything except for this guy here that I've shown this morning is available at www.jekyllbaits.com. This is the Copper Craw. This was the 2018. Now, I think I, I made a, an additional Noti uh, notice on the website yesterday, yesterday evening, that the 2019 pattern should be out in mid-April, and they will be. Um, we're adding, I usually add like five of each pattern that I, sorry, of each type of bait that I sell in blank, um, just to give you guys something new to look at. And we, we normally add on to the website. We don't take anything off because a lot of these are stuff that you guys look for year-round. This is just a, a 
fun, cool. I mean, it looks, the way it's sprayed, the way I do the shading on this, it looks like it's three dimensional. And that's the whole point. Um, I like to try and give fish some that they haven't necessarily seen and just have a, have a good time spraying. Obviously this is on a silent and uh, I upgraded the customer's blank on this one. He doesn't know it, but he's, uh, unless he's watching this and then Sean, hey, you're getting a holographic foiled on this one. Um, and that's that was a happy accident. They're really cool baits. Not only that, but uh, I ran out of my silence in 1.5, except for on the holographic, so they're coming in. But we always try and accommodate the customer, and if, if that means giving you guys an upgrade, because usually the holographic pre-foiled are more expensive, then that's what we'll do. This is the Mad Hatter, another one of my favorite patterns for the spring. Um, again, pardon the, pardon the hands. I always have spray paint or airbrush paint on them. But uh, red, 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 this time of year, folks. You ought to be knocking their lights out with these colors. Okay, this is the Toxic Crappie. Bring that in. Toxic Crappie. There we go. There's that Corvette next door. I love that. Nothing sounds like a Corvette. Except for maybe, well, no, nothing sounds like a Corvette. I don't know if that sound picked up on camera, but I sure heard it. Toxic Crappie. Midnight Menace. In a wart, hand painted eyes. And I'm going to take a break from this just for a second. We've got a few more to show you. I know we're going to run long on this one, but hey, this is hopefully going to be the juice that gets you through the weekend. One of my most frequently asked questions is what do I use to hang and, and drip wire these lures when they're coming off my clear coats? So I use, now this is a little bit light for me. I get this when nothing else is in stock, but it is a high quality, inexpensive aluminum wire. That's it. This is 10 pound. 10 pound is a little bit soft for me, but you can see it's an 18 gauge. Most of, and this is picture hanging wire. Um, most of, and not the braided. This is the, the just the regular old machined aluminum. Um, 18 gauge. You're going to find, I get this at Walmart um, in the hardware section where you, where you see the picture hanging stuff. But my preferred is the 25 pound now when i when you see the 18 gauge it's the same thickness as that 10 pound but this is just a little bit heavier duty um it, it doesn't the 10 pound has a tendency to kind of break and bend uh, and i like to get multiple uses the other thing that i see people get all the time more more around christmas the like the day after christmas sales when when uh everything is on sale for like 50 or 75 percent off um, you can get those uh, ornament. I don't know why I'm having a hard time with English language this morning, but <laughs> so you can get the, um, the ornament hangers, the Christmas bulb ornament hangers, and those are also pretty effective. They're a little thin for me. I like something that's going to fill this little eyelet because then when you pull that out, it's a whole lot easier to clean. If you have a little small um, ornament holder, then uh, it's a lot more to fill in with epoxy. So when you get a little bit thicker of a gauge, as long as it fits through, I try and use that. And that's why I use what I use. It's just a lot less headache when you're cleaning up those baits afterwards to use something that is kind of a snug fit for these eyelets. This is that farm pond crappie on the holographic. Now these, you may or may not know if you're new to the bait game and you guys are into airbrushing. These are coming from Dinger Custom Baits and I know I've got him up here somewhere. Where are you at? He's behind my coffee. Um, it's dingerbaits.com and uh, just phenomenal swimmer. It, it's exact, I mean exactly like the original uh, or, or as close to it as you can get without it being the original. A little farm pond crappie action. Kept the chest white on that because most of the time on the on the black crappie, when they're in the breeding mode, they're gonna get a, they're gonna green up a little bit on their backs, and they're gonna keep that white chest. I have seen a little bit of a yellow tint to them. Blackberry jam, folks. Who doesn't want that for breakfast? If you're a fish, would you eat this? Yep, probably. 
blackberry jam. Pretty simple, but yet effective nonetheless. And then we have that holographic. Aren't these beautiful? Look at those baits. Dinger, folks. Best in the States. Whoa. If we don't wreck it. That's all right. The epoxy is very hard. This is that holographic thread fin shad. Clean, pretty, good blend from a fluorescent orange down to a little bit of a yellow, canary yellow on the chest. And then that blue fade all the way up into a real deep indigo blue on top. No black, just deep blues. Now we can talk about this stuff. Um, just fun stuff, playing around with patterns. And uh, you never know when you're gonna need a good peacock cichlid. Peacock bass pattern. So these are on, I just, and I, I think the last video I shot for the workshop update, I was talking about um, the contest. Um, well, they're covered up, but there is a, there is a sticker down there for Johnston. Johnston Lures out of Canada. They make two specific unique baits. This is one of them. It's a perch pattern. Um, obviously it's a blank. And if you guys want to see what they look like, I can take you over to the spray bench and show you. But, uh, I have sprayed this into a peacock bass and you can see that it's got that signature and yeah they are very similar to a yellow perch pattern I love doing yellow perch patterns too but unfortunately there's just not a whole lot of yellow perch in the waters in Arkansas the way I'm used to from back home in the Northeast there's tons of yellow perch and they're real good eaters if you guys ever get one of any size and you want something a little bit different that's not trout or bass or I know a lot of folks down here eat bass I don't I catch and release um, but I do love a good trout meal um, but perch and white bass too white bass is phenomenal walleye yellow perch is tasty just as tasty as white bass uh, a lot of folks love the white bass but this is the new peacock bass pattern. Just give you a close up look at it there. On the Johnston, this is their perch lure. And it also has that hump like cichlids do. And bass uh, is a very close relative, if not connected to cichlids. And then this is just a little more of a poppy, yellow, fluorescent, yellow, red fade on their toothache pattern. What's special about these, you say? Well, these, let's get out the law stick here. These are seven inch. You see, there's your seven. So not including the little bill that's on here, these are seven inch stick baits and they're floaters. Also, and a peacock cichlid. Lots of fluorescence on here. Just goofing around and having a little fun with some different patterns. This is the, uh, we'll call it the circus ghost knife. Also in a lot of fluorescence. And last but certainly not least, in the fluorescent green version. Seven inch floating killer top water, lots of fun. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the juice to get you through your weekend. Lots more to come. I've got fishing videos to put up that I still haven't had a chance to do because we've been slammed here in the shop. I am gonna sneak out at some point and take advantage of that beautiful, beautiful spring weather. This is one of my favorite time, if not the favorite time of year for me to fish. Can really get those big ones that are getting ready to spawn. You guys have a fantastic weekend. We'll see you on the flip side of it. There's spray sessions coming out. There's fishing vids coming out. So stay tuned. Have a great day and happy casting.